Erin, what would you say? Just that we appreciated being able to be in their class and that we really liked getting to know them. I guess I'll say, bye, it was fun getting to know you all, see you around next year. <laughs> <laughs> so initiate that. Don't wait for the teachers to say something. They may not be aware. Their lives are really, really busy. What are the... Um, the teacher usually initiates it. It's like, oh, today's their last day. And, like, because you but you can initiate it. You can, <laughs> you can remind them. Don't just end up with you fading into the background. Then they're going to say, where did she go? Oh, she left. You know, you need to uh, make sure the kids know what you're doing. I, it seems like part of the work uh, with apprentice teachers is also understanding the culture of schools. How to enter a classroom, how to leave a classroom, how to get to know the students in the classroom, how to say goodbye at the end of the semester. So I think it's important to appreciate and, and show that appreciation to the children in the classroom as well as to the teachers. Mm -hmm. The first three semesters, what we have are the foundation courses. So it's setting a foundation of understanding child development and understanding the range of child development. So you need to understand children first. My hopes for the Methods 1 students who've already been in the Marlboro Partnership is higher than generally what I would have had in the past for Methods 1 students. They've had the benefit of working with the cooperating teachers, sitting down with them and doing some planning. This will just be another step up with a little more planning, more direct um, instruction from me and with the cooperating teacher to build on that and work towards teaching that might generally come in our, come two months into the Keene State instruction. I expect will happen two weeks into the, um, the semester with Methods 1 out there. Um, I think that for this group of juniors coming in and starting their methods, I think it'll be awesome because they will already know the kids, they already know the school. We know pretty much all of the students right now in the program, whether they've worked in our classroom or not, and I think they'll be able to get started working with the kids much sooner um, and get way more experience than they would if they were just coming to a school for the first time. Um, one of the reasons that I decided to be a part of the partnership was because I had already had a little bit of experience in the classroom through internships in high school. So I was really interested in getting right back into the classroom. I thought that it would be a good experience to give it a shot and figure out if this is really what I want to do. I think um, when you're early in your teaching career, it, the most experience you can get early on as possible is awesome because um, it's, it's really good to see different teachers, how they approach classroom management, instruction, um, and, and to get different perspectives. Um, and also to find out if it's really what you want to do. Um, so when I did apply, I wanted to be a teacher, and I had that in my head since I was eight. And when I got into the classrooms, I loved it. I did, and I loved working with all the kids. But I want to go into social work now, and I want to work more one-on-one -on -one with kids. All right, so Kirsten and Timmy are our starters. So everyone stand up. In first grade, each day we start with the pledge, greeting, and a morning message where one student goes up and fills in the blanks of the morning message for the day. Um, working with a lot of the special ed students in this school has really made me realize that like, that's really what I want to do. I want a special ed classroom. Just, it's just, it was a great realization and I'm really glad that this partnership could give it to me. So I'm glad I'm not realizing it next year in the middle of student teaching. Yeah, it confirmed that everything since I've been three that I definitely want to be a classroom teacher <laughs> and not be a, just a special ed teacher. 
This partnership has done a lot of good for me personally because I've learned that I don't want to be a teacher and I've seen all the other girls here that want to be teachers and that love it and they got the experience in the early semesters of their college career. We do see that happen. We see that students are out in the field for the first time in Methods 1 and they're excited, they're ready to be a teacher, then they see what it really looks like and the work that's involved and even just working with children. They may love children, but they may not love children in a school setting. And I do think with the Marlboro Partnership, we're seeing that self-realization much earlier. We're seeing students say, you know, this has been a great experience, but I don't want to go any further. This really isn't for me and I need to put my time elsewhere. So I do think that's a benefit they learn much earlier, what it's all about, the big picture, not just going in the classroom and, and playing or working with, with one or two students, that they see what the needs are, what they need to learn in order to be successful as a teacher.